Hey everybody, Dr. Giggles here from SFN Online, and of course, your host of The Growth Show and the Hornapalooza Podcast, coming soon. Um, today's video, we are going to be talking about uh, Six Flags uh, 2021 predictions. I heard some rumors, so uh, please do not shoot the messenger on this. Uh, my source is telling me, someone had brought this up last night. And then I started asking some questions around. Um, you may see 2021 as the year of no attractions. Depending upon how the rest of the season plays out, they may not buy and purchase or add, add any rides for the next season. Uh, the sources that I'm hearing, I'm not saying that that is 100% fact. This is just a reliable source that I've been told within Six Flags uh, company, uh, and I'm not revealing sources, I'm not trying to get people fired because all these non-disclosure agreements and stuff uh, that they're not supposed to talk to. Like, look, this is what we're hearing. Please don't mention my name. And uh, But here's some info. So there's a potential that you may not get an attraction next year based off of the impact of the coronavirus. There's also that they may put some attractions in, but they're not going to be big attractions. They may also just go on the cheapest of the cheapest side. More water park expansion, maybe some kid expansion, because those attractions are cheap. You go, they're going to go the cheap route. They're going to spend less to kind of lure people in. I know usually trying to recover from something like this, this is going to be catastrophic for Six Flags. This isn't something that uh, is going to do them well. It's and it's not just Six Flags, Cedar Fair, local, you know, like a Kennywood, like compound, you know, smaller co corporates, uh, smaller mom and pop part, you know, like a Knobles or you know Waldemere or something, you know what I mean? Places like that are going to suffer big, and the, everybody's going to need support. No matter how much you trash Six Flags or and say, oh, have a Six Flags day, and it really. You know, when Six Flags is having Six Flags Day, to them it's, hey, have a great day. To coaster enthusiasts that mock Six Flags, which is just about every coaster group out there that I've heard uh, say this, so shame on them. Uh, have a Six Flags Day means it's a horrible day and, you, and Six Flags sucks. So those that are like, why do they say, have a, why are coaster enthusiasts laughing saying having a Six Flags Day? That's what it means. It means... Well, you're going to Six Flags, you're going to have a shitty day. It's not going to be fun. But they still go and they go ride and they still bitch and complain. So they're just a bunch of fruity patooties that um, should just shut their traps, I guess. And I'm not sitting here trying to, you know, bend over and take it from the thing. I get no money, no nothing from Six Flags. So uh, I'm, just, I'm just stating that because of the coronavirus, the impact is real. And it could put them in their uh, second bankruptcy within 10 years. So we'll see what happens. Don't be surprised if you have another blah year of attractions. But I am a strong believer in 2021 being the year of no attractions. You might get stuff like an updated Fright Fest, an updated Holiday in the Park. They're going to be ramping up and trying to get as many days as they possibly can out of this. Who knows? Maybe they don't even shut down between Halloween and Christmas and they just keep it going to make that extra money. And if they do, please do us a favor and go support every park out there. Not just Six Flags, but whoever's open, go support them. Anyways, uh, leave us a comment down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you hearing different? Um... I don't know. Let us know down in the comments below. Make sure that if you're new here, you click that subscribe button. Please share it. Help us grow. And uh, watch some other videos on this channel. There's plenty of playlists to check, especially if you're hunkering down. We'll see. But anyway, until next time, everybody, keep on coasting, y'all. Peace.